So this is not a grid that has all that many um, squares to it, but sometimes when you grid, you might have hundreds of squares. So one of the things that people like to do is they like to number and letter them. And so you might go across here and do kind of like a map, like an old fashioned map. You might go across with like the alphabet, then you might also go ahead and count. And so what I would do is I would use maybe a colored pencil or just regular pencil so that you can see the letters on here and then go back in on here. Make sure I've got the side that I want. Um, the extra, who cares if that little bit, this one's a little bit shorter. There's not a lot of visual information over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the process. And now I'm just using regular pencil because this is something I'm gonna wanna erase. should have used my glasses because I can see my tick marks are a little bit off here. So let me go ahead and fix those so it's a little bit more accurate. Okay. So now that I have it so that I can see, what I'm gonna do is go across here and you can see that there's nothing drawn in these first few squares, but then right around here, so like this is the middle, you could use like a little tick mark to kind of help you out. I'm gonna have my hair. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly draw in the shape of my head. I like to look and see where it attaches itself to the grid itself. And if you make a mistake, you can always go back in and fix it and correct it, right? Because this is kind of like your base sketch. We really want to make sure that we're not getting too caught up in shading or adding on all the hairs. I'm not adding in um, any sort of um, texture at this point. I'm really just looking for outlines. So for my forehead, you know, this peak here where the hairline comes in, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that in where it lines up. Okay, if you get to a point where it's maybe a smaller detail in a square, one of the things I like to do is to um, make a smaller grid and you can use normal pencil, you can use color pencil if you want to. This is like a half inch grid, so I'm gonna find the half right here and I can make it smaller by dividing this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the color pencil, I think, so that you can see this a little bit better. Now, I don't know if yours is going to be three-fourths of an inch is the middle, so we wanna make sure that we find the actual middle. But when I go in to draw, so we're here in three, C. Um, I would continue drawing all this, but when I get to this section here, it's okay to go in and divide this up so that you can make sure that you don't draw your eyes too big. I often use this for like nose because a lot of times we want to draw our nose smaller than it actually is. Usually we want to draw our eyes bigger than it actually is. So you can always break this grid down a little bit smaller in order to make your shapes more accurate. Right, so then when I go into the eye here, I can see, okay, the eye goes above the line. I'm drawing, I should say, I'm gonna focus on the white of the eye first. I'm gonna see where that ends up here on the line. And this part kind of comes under, it curls. So I'm just drawing the white of the eye first, and then I can go in and put the eyelid in. All right, and then I can always go ahead and then put in the colored section of my eye, so the iris of my eye, or pupil, if you can see it. So we wanna make sure we don't oversimplify and make the eye look like a football. So take your time and draw out your entire picture um, and then we'll go over erasing the grid later.